always this time of year where it's like it's the the pause where orientation just kind of concluded everybody's starting to gear up it reminds me of you know when i was a student and kind of coming back into the fall and just kind of like diving right into it again talk a little bit more about you know your role as the associate director of diversity access initiatives what it is that you do for the Office of Admissions and what is unique to this year's incoming class. I am responsible for bringing in a, uh, a more diverse class, so really, really trying to bring in more first-generation students like myself, more students of color uh, like myself, um, and students from underrepresented backgrounds. We are uh, expecting you know, another large uh, incoming freshman class for the fall that we're really excited about. A lot of folks on campus, I think, are responsible for it. You know, our admission reps, they're the ones who go out into the, the high schools, they're the ones who are traveling, uh, interacting with students and families uh, all, you know, all through the fall and spring semester, so they're doing the work. Uh, we have Lawrence Base reps here, um, where our home base is the Jayhawk Welcome Center. How has this new Jayhawk Welcome Center um, really boosted engagement or those numbers for us? The building does add this new layer that we've never really had before. You know, it's one thing for us to talk in a presentation about what it's like to, you know, walk down Jayhawk Boulevard to go to class or what it's like to, you know, walk down the hill at graduation when we're talking about traditions. And to be able to actually show it and to have students be able to, in a way, experience that through these exhibits is something we've never had before. In, in my world, I mentioned that you know, I'm kind of responsible for bringing in diverse class. You know, personalization is such an important part um, for, you know, for students of color like myself, uh, for first generation students. And so uh, we've been really thinking about, thinking outside the box and how we can uh, recruit students and how we can really kind of um, tailor some of those conversations to um, you know to them. I've done a lot of great work with the Hispanic Development Fund in Kansas City uh, and really kind of you know working with those great great folks over there to bring their scholars to KU uh, to be able to experience what it's like to be a student here uh, but then also to really working with them to make sure they're set up for success while they're here. When you reflect back on your Jayhawk journey, what is one song that you would pick that would describe that for you and why? The one that I think that just immediately pops in my head is, and it, I think it's a little unconventional, but it's just, you know, just hold on, we're going home by Drake. And I could be, you know, on a work trip, I could be on a personal trip. I, went to Disneyland last year with my family and ran into somebody who told me Rock Chalk and I immediately said Jayhawk right back to them. And the fact that we still share this, this connection of Lawrence and the University of Kansas, like we think of that as this home. And so anytime I hear that song, I instantly get reminded that not only do I have like a home in Topeka where I'm from and where my roots are, but I also have and have built roots here in Lawrence and at KU, so I definitely consider this to be like my second home.